everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have two new products that have just come out and I'm going to be testing them out for you. I have mixed thoughts about them. I haven't personally tried them on my skin, but I have seen them on my hand. I have seen some videos, so I'm not too sure how to feel, but I'm gonna test them out, give them a fair shot. I don't want anyone to alter my opinions. So let's tell you what these products are. So first I have the Stila Lingerie Souffle Skin Perfecting Primer. This guy here. Um, I do not, I do not have the foundation, but I do have a little card with some samples in it. So I think this should be enough if I mix these two shades together. It will be enough for me to test out the foundation. So we're gonna give that a go. And then I'm going to finish off the look with the In The Buff Powder Spray. Okay, so first up, our lingerie souffle. I'm gonna tell you, the packaging on this is spectacular. This is not great packaging for traveling at all. It weighs about five pounds. It is heavy as hell. But check this out, it is gorgeous. So to have this sitting on your vanity is just like luxury in a jar, but again, super heavy, and you, you cannot travel with this, it would weigh too much. The Sheer Illumination Lingerie Souffle, they also have a darker one, I believe, of this. Okay, so this is an opulent whipped gel primer that adds a radiant glow to the skin. It's a skin-loving formula, especially formulated with natural botanicals and over 70% water for a lightweight, refreshing feel. For makeup application, apply a pea-sized amount to skin with fingers or Stila brush, and then basically that is it. I did go to a training with this product. What you cannot do, because this is 70% water, do not use any products with silicone over top of it or underneath it. So your foundation needs to be silicone free and um, anything you put on your face prior to this, if you do put anything on your face, it needs to be silicone free. If not, you're gonna get the pilling and the rolling. So that's just a tip for you. Do not use any silicone with these products. So I'm taking the Fitting Foundation Brush by VDL. I'm taking that guy, I'm dipping it in our little primer here. I'm just going to start to buff that into the skin. It feels so cooling. Right off the bat, definitely cool. Feels like I'm putting a cold water on my face. My skin feels super hydrated feels like kind of wet, like I just sprayed water on my face. It's a really nice feeling. It's a very refreshing feeling. It is super nice. So I'm just gonna take a look in the mirror up close here because from far away, my skin just looks hydrated and nice. I'm not seeing the glitter all over my face. It just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not like, it's not like really standing out. So on the hand, it does look a lot more glittery for some reason than on the face. I'm gonna try out the Lingerie Souffle Skin Perfecting Color. This is their foundation. This foundation comes in eight shades, which is not a lot, but because apparently they're very sheer, they work with a lot of different skin colors. So basically they said if you're a shade four, you could also possibly be a shade three, you could be a shade five, just depending on your preference. So I do have this right here as a shade four, that foundation color right there. This is the darkest shade, which is shade eight. So I'm gonna actually use my fingers to apply this. I'm taking shade four. Ooh. Kinda matches my neck, it's a little bit orange. Eh, mm, eh. Okay, I'm gonna mix that with shade one. Shade four and shade one are gonna be mixed together. If you are orange, you would love shade four. It is quite orange. This foundation is very, feels very unique. It almost feels like it's pure silicone, but there's no silicone in it at all. It's just water, but it has that really slippery, moussey feel to it. I, I, I'm confused. I'm super confused. Like, I don't get it. So basically, it's pilling on me. Like, oh my god, honestly, okay, I'm gonna zoom you in. What in the hell is happening? Like, uh, guys, what the, f what, I, I, I was planning on going out. Oh my god, this is like insane to me. I have never used a foundation that looks this terrible to me in my life. So, yeah. Wow, that sucks. Here's the thing that's frustrating to me, okay? This is, this is where I start to get a little bit confused because makeup should be fun and it should be easy. Makeup should not be hard because for, for the everyday person, makeup is not something that maybe someone's perfected. It's just 
makeup and people put it on to make themselves feel better to go into the world to feel more confident so there shouldn't be a certain trick to apply foundation i hate when you go to seminars or whatever and there's like a special way to apply something because it doesn't work any other way makeup should be universal it should just be easy there shouldn't be tricks and all these different all this different shit to apply your foundation or powder like it should just be pretty straightforward you should be able to blend it on smooth it out because let's face it for the most part people don't have time to take out to blend something out or to use a special fancy trick with a special brush you know what I'm saying and uh, I, I don't know I just find this very very frustrating because I don't know like I don't ever have foundation apply like that on me ever I have places to go and places to be this is why I'm kind of frustrated because this should not have happened like this so this foundation I'm throwing in the garbage I'm sorry don't like it be gone okay so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back in with our primer let's try this again I've also just wiped off all my skincare, which is annoying. So my skincare I had on before I blended all this out was all water-based. I had a Bioderma water-based serum. I had a Vichy water-based cream. So there's no silicone in any of the products I used that should not have happened. So that's annoying. So I'm applying the primer one more time. The primer feels amazing. It really does. It feels great on my skin. The foundation, I'm not putting that ever back on my skin because I really don't understand that whatsoever. So for today's video, I'm going to be using the Dermablend Flawless Creator because I know that this is silicone free, so we're definitely going to apply this. And if this doesn't work, then I don't, I don't know where to go. So we're going to take this. I'm using the shade 25N. So this foundation looks amazing over top of the primer. It looks really hydrated. It looks smooth. It's not weird like what just happened before. So honestly, the foundation mm -mm, doesn't work. Not good. Not good for me anyways. I don't know. And there's no sparkles showing through on my face from that primer, so yeah, there kind of is weird like reflex in it, but it's not showing through the foundation. Mind you, this is a pretty full coverage foundation, so, but I only used a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. Next, I'm taking this Pixie Peach Corrector, so I'm taking a little bit of that. This is on a Smashbox Concealer Blurring Brush, so I'm taking a tiny bit of peach just to really counteract any darkness I have in the corners of my eyes. I'm gonna take my Clove and Hollow Concealer in number three. So I'm taking some of that, putting it over top of the peach corrector. Okay, so next up I have this powder, which I'm kind of nervous about now after everything that just went down. This is the In The Buck Powder Spray. New setting powder spray designed to set makeup to a subtle glowing finish. Formulated with skin-loving oil, absorbing ingredients to mattify skin without looking dry. Shake well before you spray onto brush or puff, then buff into face. Avoid contact with eyes. Do not spray directly on the face. Oh God, and if you do this, it falls out, so keep it upright. You're wasting powder, there's powder everywhere. It's like Christmas, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm gonna try to set my under eye with it. I'm gonna try. So I'm taking my little Real Techniques, I love this. It's a setting powder, th setting little setting brush. Okay, this is messy, 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 messy. It just turned my concealer pink. See this? This is the look of disappointment. Honestly, don't use it underneath your eye. It just turned my concealer darker. It has like a pink tinge to it. See this eye? It's like bright and awake. This one... Mm -hmm. But you know, I have to put some on the other eye because I'm going to look weird. I, I do. This is ridiculous. I'm just adding some hourglass translucent powder underneath because I feel like I need to try brighten this up because I don't know what just happened. My under eye went pink. Not impressed with that. Okay, taking a Derma Blend. This is a powder brush. Spraying the brush. No, 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 no. Like this is a joke. Like this, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like if you want to, like I'm covered in powder. Covered. My pants are covered. There's powder floating up all in the air. This cannot be great for my contacts. There's, and I understand why my under eye went pink because there's an iridescent pink sparkle in the powder. If you can see, let me see if you can see on this brush. If you can see on the brush, there's like a pink glimmer shimmer happening, okay? This is, this is crazy. It's crazy. I think this is crazy. I usually can just, you know, work with 
any kind of product that's given to me. I usually don't say many bad things because I understand it takes a while to formulate things. Things are just different sometimes and it might not work for me, but it might work for other people. But like this, I just don't understand. Sorry. Like, why are we adding sparkle to everything? I don't get it. Like, this is not working for me. Like, I actually can, like, feel the powder in my mouth. It can't be good for me. I'm not gonna lie. My skin looks nice. It, it looks airbrushed. To be quite honest with you, it looks smooth. But it looks patchy as well. Like, it looks pink in this area right here. Uh, it looks more neutral in this area right here. I guess I need to put more pink powder on. Let me just put a little bit more pink powder on just to make sure I'm really even here. My face also feels tight. Like it does feel like really tight, which it no never feels that way, especially when I'm using my Derma Blend foundation. But I don't usually feel this tight, but like I'm, I'm feeling tight. Like my face feels a little bit tight. Okay, I'm back. I applied the rest of my makeup. Went off camera to apply it because I think I was just going to lose my mind sooner or later. So I had to just like take a minute and regroup. Everything on my face, I will list down below so you know exactly what it is. But today was the first day I think I've struggled. I can deal with most, most products. I can usually make them work, but today I just could not understand at all. Okay, let's break it down. Let's just break it down. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful packaging, yes. Weighs about five pounds. The product itself I actually like. It goes on like a wet kind of water-like feel. It's very cooling. It feels very hydrating. I think if you had dry skin, you would really like this. It's 70% water. Um, on your hand though, it does have like this pink iridescent glow to it, which is super weird. I don't even know why they would put a glitter in here. There's a, dif there's a difference between a sheen and a glitter. This definitely has a glitter, but it's weird because when applied to my face, I don't see the glitter. So that's why I say, yeah, this is a good primer. I do like it. Okay, great. The foundation, the little samples that I had, held to the no. Mm. Same formula kind of as this. It's a 70% water formula foundation. It's more of a sheer kind of tint, which I would get for summertime. I think people would like it. But why did that blend out like that? I have no idea. So that to me is very confusing. Um, I've never really had a foundation that did that on me before. It looked terrible. It looked just terrible. I don't know. So for the foundation, no. I do not recommend that. Not for me anyways. I don't know. Don't get it. And the thing is, like I said before, foundation should just be straightforward. You should just be able to apply foundation with your fingers, with a brush, however you please. Work it into the skin. It should be simple. It should blend. It should look great. So if I did it wrong, I don't know. But I don't know. I try to brush. I try my fingers. If it doesn't work with your fingers, then it, I don't want it anyways. Because everything should work with the fingers. Okay. Yeah. Then we have this powder. Don't understand. First of all, I get you're trying to be unique. I understand that. Everyone's trying to come out with something that is different. I get it. Totally get it. This, don't get it. It's a mess. So basically, my skin feels very dry and it feels very tight. I'm oily, so I can't even imagine if my skin was dry how uncomfortable I would feel. There is a pink sparkle to this. I get it's supposed to be illuminating. It says illuminating, but Again, there's a difference between having a nice illuminated, glowy, like my highlight skin, or just like pink sparkle on your face. So this is super messy. My contacts actually feel weird because of all the powder that was sprayed into the air. It actually is locked into my contacts. So if you're contact wear, I don't think I would go with this. I try to set my under eye with it. Do not do that because it turned it pink because of the pink sparkles. And then, I don't know, it made my skin kind of look like, I don't know. This was okay. It kind of gave my skin an airbrush finish to it. There isn't pink sparkles all over my face, but my foundation went more pink. So I don't get it. I really don't. And I find it super messy. So I wish that this was just put into a jar, like a regular setting powder. That'd be great. Maybe, possibly. Then I could maybe use it in some sort of way, but like this, no. And you're all right. So this will be the end of my review. I hope you guys did find it helpful. If you did, as always, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.